Uh, so you know, uh, where I was born, is a beautiful river called Brahmaputra. It's a masculine river. We very rarely hear about masculine river. Mostly rivers are mothers. So I lived with a father for a long time. Missed a mother. Now I found my mother here. And sad to say that my mother is not in a very good state. So as a child, all that I can do is pick up my spirits and help my mother pick up her spirits too. And so this entire effort that we will we have put together as a collective and as citizens that you will you heard Miriam talk about it, you heard Gautam and Pushpanjali sing about it, you will hear me talk about it. So our discussion that will go on is all about picking up the spirits that we have and as collective spirit for the river Mahi. So we can start. So um, it's raining, finally, the monsoons are here. You can hear the frogs croaking. To precisely understand the local weather conditions, tribal communities would rely on these signs which they could see in the frogs. They could see in the tadpoles which would grow and metamorphosize from a tadpole to a frog and all of these signs that our ancestors saw were the knowledge that we have been using for generations together. The Thangars, that's a tribe in Goa, that's a nomadic tribe known most and they know about cultivation in the most uncultivable lands, the laterite born lands. Now, they have been landless for a long time and all this while they have been growing millets. How? We do not know, but they know. This is generations of information that they have. The Gauras, they are a tribal community who have been the original aboriginals of Goa. They practiced ancient silt-based farming called Puran Shekhi which does not involve plowing. About 27 villages of Saptari and Ponda were involved in the unique farming techniques that they developed. Now, today, only a 63-year-old farmer is practicing Puran Shetty. Nobody else. The knowledge is lost and all this that is happening today is because we have check dams that we curtail the water flow and now Karnataka and Maharashtra as states are willing to do that too. They want to change the course of the river. You know, if you look up the Oxford Dictionary, you will see what is the definition of nature. Read it out here, I'll read it out to you as well. The phenomena of physical world, collectively including plants, animals, and the landscape, and other features and products of the earth as opposed to humans and human creations. So now humans are part of nature, right? But we are so disconnected that we have actually written ourselves out of the definition of nature. We have not just said we are separate from nature, but we are opposed to nature. At Earthivist Collective, we hope to break down this construct. We hope to rebuild a community based on collective wisdom and help us feel that we are part of nature. That we are nature working with indigenous and modern knowledge, rural and urban traditions, and scientific solutions as well. You know, civilizations across the world make mistakes and rectifies them as well when they realize their mistakes. New York is a city. They realize the quality of their source water due to pollution and environmental degradation were not consumable. 
the biodiversity of the Hudson River was being lost. The city officials, they planned to treat the river and realized that it would cost them $6 billion. And $3 million on top of that on an annual basis to maintain. Whereas the cost would be only $1 billion, one-sixth of that, if it is naturally um, reactivated. So the interconnectedness of nature that we see is something that we saw here as well when we came together as a collective, when we came together and people, you know, they, they came together to pray for the river. As Kazan Society of Goa, that is another society that we kind of brought together, is to bring the traditions alive, the heritage of Goa that protects the land here. We try to reactivate something that was on the verge of destruction. And at the same time, we as a collective came together by the river Mandavi, sang songs. We brought together artists, musicians, architects, environmentalists, activists, bird watchers, botanists, filmmakers, students, everybody came together and contributed towards the collective energy of Madhi. We must live as an integral part of nature that is interconnected through this complex web of nature. We must work towards restoration of nature, which regenerates itself. Our poems for Made won't just float along, but will inspire people to join the cause. Our work and energy will spread far and wide. Our voices will penetrate the thick walls of assemblies and hearts to revive the flow that Made carries in her. After all, Energy is a moving river, moving our moving bodies. A river is a body as alive as you and I. It has indelible memory and will never forget how we treat this living force of nature. Body and water are same. Body being energy, prayer, current, motion, medicine. We carry the river, it's the body of water in our body. Thank you.